me just let me just turn all these on for a second. There, it occurred to me it might be better to show you what we were doing first. This is a project for Chief Don, and they take these uh, dry storage, well, they call them dry storage containers, and they put them on these pads and build these roofs over them like this, and this way they can park a vehicle in here underneath this and work on it or whatever, uh, whenever they need to. So, what I was going to try to do is show the steps right quick. Anyway, I've got some drawings that show these, the spacing of all these footings. But basically, they pour these two, by, two foot by two foot pads. I think they're two foot by two foot. Let's check. Yeah. And then uh, they'll have a fastening method. Uh, they'll set the containers on there. And they'll have these uh, clips uh, that they will weld onto the container and then bolt down to the concrete. So they'll be fastened down good. And this is where, where I come in. I was trying to show them a quick and easy way to build a roof over this without having to build trusses. And I think most of the projects they, they build are with, they'll just build trusses and set those. But for this, I was going to propose a different system that basically just a quick stick built uh, roof. I mean, I could take a couple of carpenters and build this thing uh, while I was, uh, while they were building the trusses or in the same amount of time, um, it would be a lot quicker. So the, the first uh, thing that would happen after they set these containers is they would weld, uh, weld these bars on, and I'm showing the bolts, but obviously the bolts wouldn't be on there yet. Um, and these would be uh, laid out uh, at least every four feet. So you can see here I've got one on each end, and one, two, three, four. Uh, at least that would be a minimum. And you would have them on both sides of the containers. Okay like that. Now the next step would be to put some 4 by 4s down um, to create a plate for the rafters. Now this end is a little tricky. It's going to have to be notched around this thing. This is how they connect the, the containers together. So, uh, But this needs to come all the way out to the end. Uh, so that will have to be notched around that. And then you'll have, uh, just put four of them on, bolted, you know, and you'll bolt those on with lag bolts, probably a couple, just three sixteenths by two or three inches long. Not a big deal. Now here's where it gets kind of uh, funky uh, for them because they're used to building trusses. And this is a really easy way to do this. So the first step would be to do your outer ceiling joists, okay? And basically, what's going to happen here is uh, this. This is this one is more or less a filler. You'll put your first one setting back an inch and a half, so that this outer rafter can be can set on the end. Okay. And then once you do that, uh, then you can just go. I think this first one's. Yeah. Oh, I've got them on two foot centers. Yeah, uh, but you need to lay these out. You need to lay your rafters out. Let me see. Let me turn on the first rafters just for a second. Um, you need to lay these out so that the rafters are on this side, like this. Okay, and that'll become clear here in a second. I'm going to turn those back off. But basically, you'll have the situation on each end where you'll set the ceiling joist back an inch and a half so that the rafter can actually be the thing that sits on the end, like that. Now this isn't complicated, it may seem like it, but it's really not. Now these, ends, these end ceiling joists are gonna sit halfway 
on this four by four, okay? Uh, that's because after you get these lined up, and see all these joists line up with each other, okay? These, these joists are on the same layout. The next joist, the inner joist, are lapped over those, okay? And the way this is set up, you don't have to cut anything, okay? You can just take the 16 foot, um, I mean, well, actually, what it is is that these these are eight foot. These are sixteen footers cut in half because your um, your container is eight feet wide. But the middle uh, there's on, there's fourteen feet. I forgot to tell you this. I forgot to mention this is that there's fourteen feet between these. And the drawings the drawings will be will show this because if you measure, uh, I think we've got. Uh, 16 yeah, it's 30 feet yeah it's based it's based on a 30 foot uh, overall width okay so what makes this easy is, is that uh, these joists on the ends are just 16 footers cut in half and you'll have to put this little dog ear on there because of the rafter let me put the first rafters back up you can see um, they'll be taller than the rafter, okay? Uh, but after that, uh, what you're going to do is you'll put up a, a series of the first rafters. Uh, and, and actually, before you do that, you're going to want to cut this, cut two rafters, okay? And you're going to want to test them, okay? Now, this is based on a six, taking a 16-foot rafter. And here's the measurement right here. And you're, not, you're just going to square it off on the end. You see, all you're going to do is take a 16-foot rafter and put a 212 pitch on it. Okay, that's 16 feet. And the, the, this roof is designed to be a lower pitch uh, uh, on these particular on this particular project, so that a 16-foot rafter will work. Okay. Then and then what you'll do once you once you take a, you'll take two rafters, and you'll kind of have have somebody hold one over here on that end, and have one, somebody hold it over here, and then you'll have somebody in the middle, and you'll check it, take a block, just a wood block, and put it between them, and make sure that it works. Okay. After you get both of those two rafters working, uh, and of course you got a burst mouth down here, and all that is is you're just going to give yourself a seat cut of like an inch or so and then um, cut your bird's mouth. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And so, and that's the whole point of this is that you're just going to test two rafters. Once you get them working, you'll mark one of them as a pattern. Just take the best one of them and just mark it pattern because uh, you're gonna, then you're going to cut the rest of your rafters. And then when you first get started putting up your rafters, you're just going to put up these six to begin with, okay? Because what you're going to do, you're probably going to have a splice right here in your ridge board because this is 20 feet long, and you're not going to have one 20 feet long. So what you're going to do is want to cut it, cut them 10 feet or, or have two pieces of ridge here about the same length, okay? And this... This block is misleading. This is supposed to be sitting on top of there's a purlin, which I wasn't going to show yet, but blocking. Uh, this is supposed to be this this would be a temporary block until you get this purlin in, okay? And then then the permanent one would sit on top of this. I'm not ready for that blocking yet, so I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so then you get your you get your ridge up, you get it really nice and straight. Um, you know, you've got all your rafters cut, and now um, now you can fill in the rest of your rafters. Where is the rest of my rafters? Remaining rafters. Okay, so you got all those up, and I promise you, you you'll have all these up before you even build two or three trusses. Okay, uh, now you could build trusses to go in here, but this is going to be a lot simpler. Now, what you're going to do next is since this is a low pitch roof, 
we're going to put this blocking in, okay? And so what you're going to do is take a 2x6 and set it on top of the 4x4 four four here. And you're just going to nail it into the ceiling joist and then nail it into the rafter just like that. All the way down. And that's just going to give this low pitched roof another, uh, and some more support in the middle of the span. Okay. And then uh, you're going to take this 2x6 uh, and lay it flat. I call it a purlin. And that'll, that'll make these joists more rigid coming down through here. And it'll also give you a place to set your your uh, like wind bracing here. You'll just need a brace that comes down from each end like that to, to give this some lateral you know bracing this way. Okay. So this is I mean it's real simple. Once you get once you get into this, it, you'll realize how simple this is. A lot, a lot simpler than building all those trusses with with all those millions of gussets and a bunch of nails <laughs> that you kind of put them together with. Uh, then the next step would be to put your fascia on. It's basically just a two by six nail to the end of your rafters. And next, you have your decking here. You can see the sheets are staggered. Now, on a on a normal building, we would cut this back an inch on either side for ventilation, and I've got it shown that way. But you know, this is an open structure, so you don't have to do that necessarily. Um, that's just out of habit. I did that. It's good practice uh, to do it. And then you'll put your felt down. We use synthetic felt, you know, here. But I know you all over across the seas have uh, I guess you use 30 pound felt and then you just put your roofing your metal roofing on and then you've got it so I thought I would just do those steps like that because I know that you guys are um, mainly used to uh, dealing with trusses and uh, there may be some people who aren't familiar with stick building, but I promise you this is going to be really easy and fun, or fun, not, maybe not fun, <laughs> but fast. I meant to say fast. Uh, but if you've got any questions about how this goes together, um, just send me an email, uh, or you know, if you need more information, uh, I can I can help out. Thanks, guys.